Hey Nintendo Switch fans and welcome back to your monthly episode of Indie Corner, the show where we go over the Nintendo Switch's indie lineup that's now available on the eShop. Here's what's been out since the last episode. Enjoy! We have our first shoot 'em up on the Switch. Graceful Explosion Machine is a 2D stylistic shoot 'em up that gives you four types of weapons to chain combos in a crazy colorful world. The goal is to fight through alien worlds and find your way back home. I've added this one to my interested list, but still haven't gotten around to picking it up. If you're looking to increase your Switch physical library, Has Been Heroes was released, in both digital and physical form. I highly recommend this game, giving it an 8 out of 10 in my review. The game is a roguelike strategy action game that's sure to have you grinding your teeth. It's hard, but very rewarding, and as a fun piece of trivia, it was also developed by the same people behind the Trine series. If you're looking for more retro-styled gaming after finishing Shovel Knight or Blaster Master Zero, Kimiko is now available to pick up. The game touts itself as an arcade-like action game. The goal is to defeat all the enemies, solve the puzzles, and unlock the gates to move on to the next level. And of course there's bosses, so overall this looks like a nice package for just $5. Consider this one added to my wishlist as well. If you're looking for more fast-paced action, then I recommend Mr. Shifty. Imagine playing a game as Nightcrawler from the X-Men. That's basically Mr. Shifty. You teleport through walls, around enemies, punch people, throw things at them. It's pretty fun stuff. We had Eli review the game and he gave it a 6.5 due to frame rate drops. I personally played it on PC, so not sure how the performance is on Switch, but it's a fun game. Snake Pass was also released, which should appeal to the puzzle-loving gamer or perhaps even the 3D platforming fans of the N64 days. Snake Pass is a very unique game in which you play as a snake and need to find and pick up gems through multiple levels. As a bonus, David Wise is the composer of the soundtrack, the same guy who made all those classic Donkey Kong Country tunes, as well as hundreds of other classics. Fans of 1-2 Switch might find themselves looking for a new party game to bring at the next party now. Well, you might want to check out Jackbox Party Pack 3, the game has a pretty terrible name and a cheesy trailer, but it features several unique and fun looking games. Games range from trivia style challenges to guessing games to coming up with the best slogan for a t-shirt. Lots of variety to be had here and it's easy enough for anyone to pick up and play. There's now a tumble seat available on the eShop. Control a platform with a rolling seat on top and avoid enemies and holes. The game is controlled by using left and right joysticks to adjust the tilt of the platform. The game is a roguelike, uh roller I guess, so everything is randomly generated. There are villages to explore, quests to complete, and different abilities to be used. Much like Blaster Master, another classic got a revival in Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap. This title is a remake of the classic Wonder Boy 3, which was originally released on the Sega Master System in 1989. The game plays like a 2D action game and has you searching for a cure to revert back to your normal form. The shape-shifting nature of the hero, however, does play into the gameplay, giving you six different mechanics for each shape they turn into. If your Japanese isn't too bad, you can also hop over to the Japanese eShop and pick up Maison de Mao, which translates roughly to the House of the Demon King. If my information is correct, the game is about a demon king purchasing some rundown housing so that he can live out his days as a slumlord. You fill the houses with monsters and have to fight off religious zealots and heroes bent on killing you because of their racist views of monsters. The game is set to play as part sim, part tower defense. Actually, it looks quite interesting, but I'll need an English version before picking this one up. And now onto our non-indie eShop exclusives. In Japan, we have Square Enix's Splunker World. The game is a side-scrolling action game that you can play online with up to six people. It's a pretty straightforward game, but there's also an aspect of customization where players can collect different gear to customize their characters. Also in Japan, there's the board game Ginsei Shogi Kyutendo Tufu Raijin. I probably bastardized that pronunciation, but it's the best I can do. The game appears to be Shogi, which is also known as Japanese chess. Not my cup of tea, but perhaps something you'd enjoy. And lastly, we had several new Neo Geo games released, including more 2D fighters such as The King of Fighters 94, Samurai Showdown 4, and Fatal Fury. All classic arcade style fighters. They also released the classic Shoot'em Up Alpha Mission 2 and the 2D action game Metal Slug. All excellent choices if you want to blow stuff up. If you'd rather take it easy with some competitive games, there's also Neo Turf Masters, which is essentially a golf game, and the racing game Overtop. And thanks again for joining me on this month's episode of Indie Corner. It looks like I'll be doing these each month, so I'll see you guys next month. And until then, 
keep on playing indie.